Taurus, my earth sign Taurus. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome to our channel, okay? So, Taurus, there's some shit going down, okay? Or it has already went down in your energy, okay? Something is off. Something ain't right, y'all. Mm-mm. Something ain't right. I feel like somebody did some bullshit. Y'all, mm -hmm. somebody did some bullshit. And you done. You is done with this person. Okay? You is done. All right? Somebody could be born in June. Or you have an uncle named June. Or June is significant to somebody out there. Okay, let's see what's going on for my Taurus. Let's see, what is this shit that's going down? What's going down, okay, in Taurus's life? Let's see what's going on in y'all energy. Let's see what's going on in y'all life. Okay, what's this? It says, always and forever. Each moment with you. It's just like a dream to me that somehow came true. This person feels like you're a dream come true, okay? Yes, they could be sending you that song. They could be channeling that song. It says, I was searching for something I had in front of me the whole time. So they were searching for somebody just like you, searching for somebody with your energy, and you were sitting there the whole time like, hello, I'm here already. Like, what the fuck? What is you looking for? And they regret it. It says, we're going to make some beautiful babies together. So this person wants to have children with you. Y'all may already have children. Okay, Libra energy is here. So you could be connected to a Libra or you have Libra in your chart. It says, I'm sorry, I've learned my lesson. So they feel as though... They've learned their lesson. Whatever they did, they learned their lesson. Okay. It was very, um, could have been traumatic for this person. Oh, okay. Spirit. What is that? <clears throat> what is that? Let's see what this is. All of this. Okay. I'm scared. You don't love me anymore. So this person feels like because you're done, that you don't love them no more. Five, five, five. Changes ought to come. And they feel like they've lost you forever. Your angels is kicking the karmic's ass. Okay, if you feel like your person turned from a divine masculine to a karmic, they're getting their ass kicked by your spirit guides. If your person was dealing with a karmic, the karmic is getting their ass kicked. If it was more than one karmic, more than one, they, your spirit guides are kicking everybody's ass that was involved. Somebody named Billy... Brian or Brandon is here. Mm-hmm. Ciao. It says hoping to make things work with you. So they're hoping to make this work out with you. They're hoping to have a second chance with you. It says I gave you my whole heart. What more do you want? Yeah, so you feel like this person was never satisfied. And they was always looking for more, 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 more. And you're like, well, what did you want from me? You know what I'm saying? I gave you everything I had in me. I gave you all the love, all the nurturing energy, all the care, all the, you know, emotional affection. I opened my heart to you and you just, like, what did you want? What do you want from me? It says my whole life has changed since I met you. So you changed this person's life for the better. Okay, not for the worse, for the better. Some of y'all could be married to this person. Yeah, this person could be slamming hella doors right now. Somebody is angry as fuck. I'll be sure. Night and Day is here. Yeah, that's my favorite song, okay, by I'll Be Sure. That's the shit. They think about you night and day, day and night. They dream about you and fantasize about you all day, all night. All right, you may feel like it's a lot of ups and downs between you and this person, or there's just ups and downs going on in their life. Fire and Desire, okay, another song. So you could be channeling songs or your person is trying to send you messages telepathically through songs. 
okay? This could be a father figure, a stepfather to your children. Okay, let's see what else is here. It says, I still love you. This person is still loving you. Their feelings have not changed for you, even though they feel like yours has. They feel like your feelings have changed. Their feelings did not change for you. They still love you. I'm so attracted to you. So this person finds you so attractive, okay? It says pill popper, bed hopper. So somebody goes from relationship to relationship to relationship. They're never stable. I feel like somebody here may be popping pills. Somebody may have dogs and cats. I'm seeing fleas and ticks, okay? I don't know where the fleas and ticks come from. This could be like dirty karmics or somebody got some dogs and cats that got fleas or ticks on them. Hmm. Busting the windows. I hope nobody ain't busting some windows out, okay? Trying to make themselves feel better, all right? Because somebody is like, SWV, I get weak in the knees. Okay, so you make this person weak in the knees. Like, they get so weak for you. Okay, they have a lot of passion towards you. A Capricorn is here. Okay, but this shit is toxic. This person is toxic. Okay, or they could be obsessed with you with the Capricorn energy. And it's very toxic. The way they're obsessed with you is an, in an unhealthy way. Okay, somebody named Sean is here. It says, I'm so sorry. July may be significant. So this person is sorry. I'm hearing that song by Ruben Stutter. Girl, this is my sorry for 2004. 2004 may be significant. <laughs> and I ain't gonna mess up no more this year. I'm gonna take this one chance and make it real clear. I'm sorry for May and I'm sorry for June. Sorry for July, in case I didn't tell you. August, September, October, November, tell you December, I'm sorry. So this person is coming towards you. Could be this year, November, December, to tell you that they're sorry, okay? It says you make me the happiest man or woman on earth. So you make them so happy. You're the only one that can make them feel this way. All right, but you feel like they did too much. Okay, there was a third party. I'm telling y'all, R. Kelly half on a baby. So this person in the third party may have had a baby for some of you, or they want to have a baby with you, collective, Taurus. Somebody named Black is here. They could have hid a lot of things from you, kept you in the dark about things, or somebody likes to wear black. Somebody could be in the dark, okay, in their room, going through sleepless nights. They're losing a lot of sleep over this situation. Bobby Valentino is here. Slow down. So I feel like spirit is saying, if you are interested in meeting someone new, slow down. I just want to get to know you. But don't turn around, because that pretty brown thing looks good to me. Okay, it says I lied just to get him here. I can't compete with you. This is the karmic. The karmic lied to your person just to get them over there, because they know they can't compete with you. They're jealous of you. They're envious of you, your beauty, your smile, your ways, your walk, your talk, everything. Okay, and now your person is sad and crying over the situation okay it says it's the most wonderful time of the year i told you something about december is significant okay jamaican somebody could be jamaican yeah or they have their um lineage they have a lot of um jamaicans in their family you're giving this person a side eye you do not trust them it says i can't believe i did this to you they know you didn't deserve this. They know it. They know you did not deserve this shit. Okay? They know that you deserve better from them. They was with you, and they know now you deserve better. You didn't deserve this. You didn't do anything wrong to this person. He was loving, caring, giving, kind, nurturing. You took care of this person. You gave this person massages, cooked them breakfast, lunch and dinner, washed their clothes. You know, you let this person know how you felt about them. 
you express your feelings to this person and they took it for granted. Mm. They took y'all's for granted. I'm hearing some uh, slave person. I'm so, I, I sorry, Massa. Massa, I took you for granted, Massa. Like somebody knows that this is bad news now coming in for them. They're, they're getting this bad news either through a phone call or they just know that it's about to be over. You're closing out a cycle with this person. You're closing it out. You're closing the doors in this person's face. It's too fucking late. It's too late for this shit. It's too late for y'all. You don't trust them. You're done. It's too late. Because they didn't want no strings attached. They didn't want to commit to you. They was in the midst of like arguing with you, flipping the story around on you and breaking your heart, trying to drive you fucking crazy. And they're realizing that now. So they spinning the motherfucking block, spinning the block in a black car, a black truck, or in the nighttime. I'm telling y'all, this person is dark or in a dark place. They're in a dark place. I'm telling y'all, they could be like sitting outside your house watching who's coming in and out of your house. They could be spying on your social media or even spying on you through tarot because they're curious about you. They want more information, all right, on you because they want to come reconcile with you. They want to get back together and celebrate this reconciliation. But I feel like a lot of y'all is focused on y'all money, on y'all side hustle. Y'all got a side hustle y'all thinking about or y'all already doing it. Okay. Yeah. You got a psycho crazy ex here who is obsessed with y'all and they will not let you go. Okay. You may have a family with this person. You may have kids with them or they already have a family somewhere else. And this did not make you happy at all. I feel like this person is not happy either because you blocked their motherfucking ass. Period. You blocked them. You blocked all communication. You blocked them telepathically because they were selfish, stubborn, full of pride and ego. Very arrogant. Okay. They thought they was the she's not it. They thought they was all that with the chips and the dip and the soda on the side. Like chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side, okay? They felt like they was all that. They felt like they could have any woman or any man that they wanted. They felt like that. But you showing yourself love. You focus on you, okay? I'm telling y'all, y'all giving this person the side eye. I'm telling y'all, y'all looking at this person like, what you want? For real? You serious or you just playing? Because I'm not here to play no fucking games with you. They want to apologize to you. They want to bring you some flowers or some sort of a, a romantic gesture, a gift. But you're unsure of what to do or you're just unsure of your feelings for this person. Because you feel like they have hidden motives or some sort of an agenda. And I feel like they're coming back because they're reaping karma. You reap what you sow. Okay, and this person cannot take what they put out. A lot of drama in their life, endings. This person is taking major losses. I'm seeing a mental breakdown in this person's energy. Okay, a fire is being lit under this person's ass. A firestorm is here. So it's nothing but heat going on around this person's energy. Nothing but drama and they're reaping karma for what they did to you, for how they treated you. Okay, and you're showing yourself love. Show yourself all the love that you need to show yourself because that makes you more romantically attractive to other people. That makes you more um, valuable and people respect you when you have love for yourself. Okay, and I feel like you're implementing that into your life. Uh-oh, somebody involved with the police. The police showed up. Maybe it was a fight. Maybe uh, somebody called the police. Maybe there was an argument and the neighbors called the police. Okay. You could have went to the police station and asked the police, how do I go about getting an order of protection or a restraining order against this person? 
some of y'all, somebody um, may work for the police department. Somebody may be a cop. Okay. Mm. Or somebody could be going to jail. <laughs> Whether it applied to where it needs to be applied to, but I feel like, yeah, this person is learning some karmic ass lessons. This is a lesson that they needed to learn a long time ago. And they never learned the lesson. And I feel like now they're learning this lesson because either, you know, they went through all of this and it didn't work out. It didn't work out in their favor. Okay. Or they went and got locked up. They got locked up and they're in jail. They could be in spiritual jail with this police card right here. They could be in spiritual jail. Okay. But it's like, you know, you saw the sign. There was a bunch of red flags. Okay, I feel like you're connecting with your intuition. You're balancing out your chakras. You may be having dreams about this person, but you're getting clarity. Okay, I'm telling you, this person is trying to telepathically communicate with y'all because you blocked them. So physically, you blocked them. Spiritually, you blocked them. Energetically, you blocked them. And they want you to unblock them spiritually, physically, and emotionally. They want you to unblock them. This person is praying. Hmm. Trying to keep the faith in God. Asking God to bring you back. They could be trying to heal or meditating. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, this person is a thug. Somebody have a criminal record. Or they could be locked up. Some of y'all may have lived in New York State or New York City. Okay. You're rejecting their ass. You like talk to the hand because the front don't understand. Okay. Yeah. Because you know how shady this person is. You see them for who they truly are and you're moving on. You're letting go and you're loving you more than ever. Yep. You're receiving your justice. Karmic justice. You could have been calling for karmic justice or like I say, you took this person to court. Got a restraining order or order of protection or you divorcing this person. For some of y'all, this person could be married. Okay? And I feel like maybe their person that they're married to wants to divorce them because they may have found out this bad news that your person was dealing with you. And they already had somebody that they was married to. So they found out this bad news. It could have been this person called you. And their other person heard it. Or they went through their phone and saw some shit. Mm, y'all, this is... I told y'all something went down. Uh, something went down. I'm trying to tell you. Let me get some... Um, let me get some tarot. I'm telling y'all. And it's not playing out well for this person. It's not, they're going through a tower moment, a firestorm. That's exactly what they're going through. And they're reaping what they sow. Okay. It's like, you messed up your bed, now you got to make it. I'm not going to say you made your bed, now you got to lie in it. Because if you made your bed and you lay in it, then it's going to get messed up again. So they messed up their bed and now they got to make it. They got to fix it. Before they lay in it, right? I'm just saying, it makes more sense to me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see what's coming through for my Taurus. Oh, my God. I'm feeling the bottom card is not. Yep. <laughs> you're keeping quiet. You're mysterious. You're not saying shit. Okay, you're just sitting here, sitting pretty, listening to your intuition. Okay. Yeah, you're getting your information from a tarot reader or you are a tarot reader. All right. Somebody is the keeper of hidden secrets. So you know some shit that you're not saying nothing about or this person kept secrets from you. Their initials may begin or end with B or the letter J. Okay. But I feel like intuitively you know that this person is going to travel towards you. Three of Wands. Okay, I feel like there's an energy of waiting. This person could be waiting on you to say something. 
because you're being mysterious, you're not saying anything, they feel like you're hiding secrets because you turned your back on them. You're no longer waiting for them. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Okay? If you wanted to be a tarot reader, I feel like you've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Okay, you're the high priestess. Okay? Yeah, I'm telling y'all, this person, this person, this person, this person is in mental conflict because they had a choice between two and they did not make a decision. They were very indecisive. So that's why you turned your back. Now they're waiting for you to unblock them because they know they didn't see things clearly. Okay, this person didn't open up to you. This person kept their feelings and emotions from you was refusing to see or acknowledge that they secretly turned their back on you and closed themselves off from you. Yeah, it could have been for a new beginning. They blocked you for a new beginning in love, okay? Or you got new love coming in towards you and you don't see this coming, all right? But they want to bring the beginning in love with you. Yeah, the lovers. There was a choice between two, definitely. And I feel like they want to choose you. They want to choose you. Gemini energy. Yeah, they know you, they broke your heart. Three of swords. There was definitely a third party energy with the three of wands, three of swords. This third party may have been at a distance from your person. You could be at a distance from your person now because you're closed off and blocked off to them. Emotionally, spiritually, and energetically. They broke your heart. They caused this separation. Okay, they cause their own heartbreak because now you're guarded. You're being protected. Okay, you're giving them the side eye. You're not, you don't trust this person. You don't trust anything that they say, anything that they do from here on out. Yeah, you're walking away, Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're walking away from whoever this Leo is. Strength. <laughs> and I saw that in the... Uh, Nine of Wands. Before I even pulled the strength card. So you could be connected to a Leo. But you're walking away and finding the strength to hold back from this person. You're teaching this person a lesson. And they're thinking about you. They're stressed out. I feel like you're taking some time to heal. You could be meditating, recharging your crystals here. Okay, you walked away from either a, a husband or somebody that you was trying to create stability with. Okay, yeah, look, and now they want to come back. They want to come back, baby, come back. You could blame it all on me. And they want to make you this offer. They want to make you some sort of an offer, but they're showing up as a knight of pentacles. They want to make you some sort of an offer that took a long time to come in. I feel like they are coming back towards you, but they're taking their sweet ass time doing it too. Why is this person taking their sweet ass time coming towards my Taurus? I feel like you focused on your stability, your money, your business. Okay, you're comfortable. You're loyal, you're stable, you're grounded. You have integrity, discipline, morals, standards, values. You're setting healthy boundaries here. You're setting healthy, healthy boundaries here. Okay. Okay. And they want to make you some sort of an offer, but oh, oh, so they're taking a sweet ass time because of a third party. Yes. Three, three, three here. Somebody's birthday could be on the third or something significant about three. Okay. You may be hearing from this person in the next three to six days. Maybe four days from now, two days from now. You may have heard from them already. Because I feel like they're going to try to pop up at your house or pop up on you. Or try to reach out to you some sort of way with some news or a message. Okay? And maybe uh, a new news or a message due to money. Stability. They want stability with you. But they're taking their sweet ass time because of somebody they work with. A third party. Yeah, queen of cups. Somebody that they have kids with. This could be their child's mother. Yeah, that's why they was being cold and detached towards you. 
I feel like they had a choice to make. But, you know, I feel like they had to make this choice using either their head or their heart. And they thought very logical. And they made a choice using their head and not their heart. Okay. Yeah, they made somebody else a small offer here. That's why they was being cold and detached towards you. But they got left out in the cold by whoever they made this offer to. <laughs> And I feel like if this person comes towards you, making you this small offer, which could be like not good enough, okay? You're leaving them out in the cold. If they can't come correct, they can't come at all, okay? And it's like this person is having financial issues. They may need your help with the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. They need your help. They out here homeless or they took a hit, a financial hit. They lost something. And then they trying to find it. They trying to find whatever it is that they lost. Your person made somebody else an offer and ghosted you. I'm seeing a breakup here between you and this person. Yeah, this person was controlling as hell. And now they want to boss up. They want to man up or woman up and be your emperor and heal this connection with you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to come back together with you. They have a lot of emotion for you. This could be another man coming towards you or another woman, all right? But they're going to send you some news or a message. It could be in a week. Oh, but you don't trust them. You don't trust what they're saying. You don't even believe what they're saying, okay? Because they snuck off from you or they lied, they cheated, they stole from you. They may have stolen an idea of yours, Something you discovered here or, or discovery of yours, they stole it. This person is very sneaky, y'all. Spirit is saying, spirit is saying, be cautious when it comes to this person. Because they're coming towards you. They're coming. But I feel like you don't want this small ass offer that they're giving you. You're rejecting it. And they're all up in their feelings because they know they've been keeping secrets from you. They know they've been juggling you. Trying to keep you a secret, going back and forth between you and another person. And now they feel drained and burdened because they want to be with you. They want to balance things out with you. They want to help you. They want to support you. And they're looking at everything that they have invested in with you. You are their other half. You are their true love. And they're ready to surrender and change. They see you from a different perspective. And they want to make you a the offer you deserve. They want a brand new beginning with you. But you're being protected. Once again, you're setting healthy boundaries. You're standing your ground. You're putting your foot down. You feel like you got to defend yourself with the seven of wands. Seven. The seven is here. Okay. So you feel like you got to defend yourself when it comes to this person. You feel like you have to stand on your boundaries, stand your ground. You feel like you have to guard yourself from this person, guard your heart and protect your heart space because there is a third party here. Okay. They feel like maybe you collaborated with somebody else and you could be in love with somebody else. Okay. The King of Swords is another man. Okay. Or another woman. So they feel like you got somebody else you got emotions for and you protecting your heart towards them and blocking your heart off towards them because they did too much in this connection. They did. And you don't trust them. You feel like you don't see them in the same way. You don't see them the same. You love this person. You care about them. But it's like, you got to protect yourself. That's how you feel. You got to protect your heart. Because you don't want this person hurting you again. You don't want this person coming back into your life and fucking shit up that you build. No, 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 no. Definitely not. You don't. You don't want this person coming back into your life trying to fuck up shit that you're trying to build or your healing, your healing journey. Yeah, they feel like you're their earth angel. It says impossible to avoid, big impact on future, questions your belief system, important life altering event. It says the moment I lay eyes on you, I knew. I can't explain how I felt, but I knew I was meant to find you. This person knew they was meant to find you. 
they may have prayed for somebody like you. Okay. And they feel like you're their earth angel. Aw. But this person was masquerading, wearing a mask. And now look, they're looking at their clock. They're like, oh shit. Time is running out. Oh my God, I got to put my mask back on. I got to hurry up. It says, attempts to conceal their feelings and authentic intentions. Feels powerless and may resort to lying to gain greater control over their environment. So they feel like lying is better than telling the truth. They hide their feelings and, and their intentions. They lie to get what they want. It says, I'm wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others, but I am alone. I think about you and I realize my true authentic self when I'm with you. So when they was with you, they was in their true authentic energy until they put their mask back on, started masquerading, started being fake, hiding their feelings, not expressing their intentions to you. And I feel like they're all alone now. They try to act happy, like they all happy, like everything is fine in front of other people that they're around. They don't want nobody to know how they really feel, okay? They don't want nobody to know how they really feel. I'm telling you something significant about the winter, okay? Some of y'all like hot cocoa with marshmallows in it, or this could be tea, okay? December 22nd to February 6th is significant. February 7th to March 19th. Is significant. So your birthday could be, or somebody else's birthday could be, somebody's birthday could be March 19th, February 7th, February 6th, December 22nd. Goodness, y'all. Let's see. What else we got? Taurus. Oh, see. Oh, okay. Two cards fell. So two, two. You may have been seeing twos a lot. All right, y'all. It says, yeah, this person is going through inner turmoil right now in their life. Mm hmm. They doubt and question and their decisions that they made. It's a fight between the mind and the heart when it comes to this person. They feel worried and conflicted and agitated and unhappy with their choices here. How they treated you, the choices that they made, the path that they took. They're not happy about any of this. It says, I am bounded physically, mentally, and spiritually. I feel there is no way out from where I am. I feel in prison because of my own doing. I'm trying to fight my inner demons, but it's just so difficult at times. So this person, they're finding it difficult to fight their demons and get out of this energy here. Okay, they may have committed to a karmic. They may be married for some of y'all or they got engaged. It says, I am healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It is the only way I can make myself whole. So this is your energy. You are meditating, finding your um in life, okay? Nam nya ha renge kyo, nam nya ha renge kyo, okay? It says becoming aware to intuition and guides, meditating and releasing self-limiting beliefs, working on inner healing and issues with codependency. So this is your energy, okay? You're not becoming codependent on this person no more. You don't need this person for anything anymore. Okay? You're releasing your self-limiting beliefs. Okay? You're thinking big. You're dreaming big here. You're becoming aware of your intuition and your spirit guides, who your spirit guides are. You're becoming aware that you are protected. If this is not your energy, reverse it. This could be your person. But I feel like they're attached to somebody. It says, afraid of the unknown, karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else. Somebody's married. It says, I'm connected to my karmic partner due to responsibilities. So this could be money, assets, resource, property, or children. 
It says, I want to face my issues head on and work through these things before I return. I know it's not easy, but I'm trying my best. This person is attached to a karmic some sort of way, either through children, assets, resources, property, or marriage. Mm. And you're like, fuck no. I don't do the married thing. Okay? I don't do the married game. This person, they don't want to be attached to this karmic anymore. They don't. They're like, no, I don't want this. This is not what I wanted. This is not how it was supposed to play out. But they caused their own demise. They manifested their own demise. That's what I just heard. Mm hmm. Okay. And now they need your help. I told y'all they need your fucking help. I'm telling y'all, but they're not asking for it. They playing victim. That's what they're doing because they feel stuck. And they got an attitude. They feel like life is against them. They feel like the world is against them. They feel like they can't control the things that's happening to them. They feel like they have no control over this. So they're blaming other people for what the hell they did. Like, make it make sense. It says why. Yeah, regret. Afraid they made the wrong decision, feels trouble or remorseful of what has happened. Sees you happy while they're miserable and can't move on. They're stuck on you. They're crying because some of y'all moved on already to another person. Y'all riding off into the sunset. And this person is watching you happy from afar. They watching you go off and be happy and they're in regret. But it says why? Why? Why did this have to happen? It says... I think I made a mistake. I should have never let you go. I should have stayed and fought for our connection. But I was weak and fearful. Now I'm here mourning over the loss of you. I'm telling y'all, this person is taking major L's. And they have to take these losses on their own. They need your help, but they can't get it. They can't get your help because you blocked them. You're moving on to somebody new. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, an idiot's option here has told your person your connection is not real. This is a karmic. Unrelatable and unsympathetic advice. They getting advice from family members or friends here that don't know what the hell they talking about. They trying to convince your person like, yo, you wasting your time. This relationship ain't real. It's fake. But it's not. Your person is just easily influenced by others. Yeah, and their viewpoints, unpleasant options, unpleasant opinions, creating doubt and denial of connection. They're trying to create doubt in your person's mind of the connection so they can move on from you. Because the way that they feeling right now, they're in regret. So these people is like, oh, you shouldn't even worry about that. You shouldn't be crying about that. That relationship wasn't real anyway. You need to move on. You need to you need to find you somebody else. I got somebody else for you. I got somebody else for you. Don't worry about it. You wasting your time even trying to go back to this person. You wasting your time. This is what I feel like somebody is feeding your person. I'm telling y'all, look, they need your fucking help, bro. They need your help. Dark night of the soul. Enhanced awareness, it says, of identity. An extremely difficult and painful period. Personal and deep development of oneself. They have to go through this in order to heal. And look, you see this hat? It may have like change in it. Okay, I see a bunch of cans. So this person may leave their room like this with a bunch of cans or a bunch of stuff around them. Okay, they got a help sign right here. They need somebody to come save them. They up here all alone by themselves. Nobody want they ass. Nobody want to fuck with them. Not even you. And they're up here all alone wondering who's going to come help them, who's going to come save them. But closed mouths don't get fed, okay? It says, I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life-altering and also extremely painful at times. I fight against that changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. They know they have to go through this in order to grow, in order to ascend, in order to evolve, they have to go through this dark night of the soul 
and have some sort of ego death. Okay. Yeah, they was in denial. I'm telling y'all. They was in denial of this connection because of what other people was telling them. And to be honest with you, you're wearing a gas mask because you feel like this person is too toxic. You don't even want to breathe the same air that they breathe, okay? This is deep. It's like, you're like, oh no. Yeah, somebody's pointing to the left, to the left. Okay, that may be your right, but over here is my uh, my left. They point to the left of them. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. You're like, uh-uh, I don't want to breathe the same air you breathe in. Too fast, too soon. Yeah. There is another person involved. Whether it's on your end, their end, there's somebody else involved. They're not ready for a deep connection. Wrong timing. Can't or won't commit. They won't. They don't want to. They want to have this free life. That's why they're going through the dark night of the soul. Because they're realizing their toxicity. Okay. Yeah. They're afraid of hurting you or hurting themselves. So I feel like right now they're keeping themselves away from you. They feel like they're protecting you from them. Because they're afraid of hurting you again. They're afraid of coming in too fast, too soon. And fucking up again. It says, I realize there is something between us. But I do not have the time or capacity to understand it. Everything is too much. Too soon. And I never... I, I have other things. And I have other things I need to deal with. They have too much going on in their life. And they don't want you in the mix of this shit. They don't. But there's going to be a celebration. I feel like you are fulfilled here. You could be popping champagne. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Pop champagne. You could be popping champagne. You could be celebrating. It says completion or achievement. So you completed a cycle. You may have also reached an achievement, a goal here, and you're excited about it. You're feeling happy and satisfied with one's life. So you're happy with the way things are going in your life. Okay? You're going after what you want. And getting what you want out of life. Yeah. You're not letting nothing stop you. It says, when I'm with you, I feel complete. I feel as if I won the best prize of all. You're exactly what I need and want in life. So this person wants to come back and celebrate with you. Okay? They feel very fulfilled by your energy, your presence. But this person is a runner. So they run from the truth. They run from the relationship. They are in denial. And they try to avoid it. You know. Because they're afraid of doing the work. they selfish. They fear change. They fear the unknown. They're afraid of intimacy. They're not awakened to this connection. Because they let so many people get involved in y'all connection. They're running from all this. They, they don't want to face the music. That's what I heard. They don't feel worthy of your time. And energy and needs consistent validation. Yes, they do. Yes, absolutely the fuck yes. That's how they feel. It says, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I love you, but I can't give you what you need. I don't have the time or the capacity to understand our connection. It is best to just leave it alone. So they, this is showing up again right here, right here. They say they don't have the time or the capacity to understand it. Right there. And, 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 and they're running. And it's the same message. They don't have time or the capacity to understand it. It's not that they don't have time or the capacity to understand it. They're refusing to grow. Okay? In the past, they was refusing to grow. They was refusing to know what they should have known. Okay? And they're running from their own toxic ways. They're running from the truth. They're running from you. They're running from themselves. And they're going to run right into a brick damn wall. Okay? They're running from everything. They're running from commitment. They don't want to commit. They don't have the time or the capacity to do that. They feel like they're not worthy of your love because of how they treat you. Because of their ways. Because they, they be fucking up. And y'all was supposed to be a power couple. 
Y'all was supposed to be the king and queen. Y'all was supposed to be strong and encourage people. But look, they with the karmic partner and they sitting here thinking about you. Looking at the phone. This person is so confused. They don't even know what they want for real. But they're looking at the phone, hoping that you text them, hoping you chase them, or hoping you tell them you love them. Or they could be looking at pictures, text messages, old messages. Or they could be wanting to write a message while the karmic is hugging them. The karmic feels satisfied. The karmic is happy with them. But then this karmic has a certain look on her face like, I'm happy with you, but... What are you doing behind my back? They could be with more than one person or just this karmic. It says turbulent with plenty of highs and lows. I told you it was a lot of ups and downs between your person and this karmic or there was just a lot of ups and downs in their life. Red flags, codependency, arguments, miscommunication. They test us and our understanding of love and relationships. Yeah. It says, I know I am settling if I'm not with you, but I feel I am stuck because I'm afraid of change. Again, this is very significant. I feel like this person is in the energy of surrendering, but they're trying to fight their demons. They're trying to change. But it's like, it's beginning, it's beginning to be too heavy of a burden on them. They need help doing this. They feel like they can't do this on their own. They feel like they're alone trying to fight their demons and come out of this energy. Yeah. It says, I'm used to what I have, even if it's not enough for me. I'm working on feeling deserving of you. Oh my God, this card fell again. So they don't feel worthy of your love. They don't feel deserving of you for some reason. And it's like... This person is projecting that energy onto you. They're afraid of change. They're afraid to commit. They're afraid to take the time uh, to put in the work. They're afraid of what's to come next. They don't know if they change and you won't leave them if they change. They don't know if they try to change and make it seem like they doing good and then they mess up again. And then you be like, okay, I'm done, it's over. But I feel like y'all, a lot of y'all's already done with this person because they're just afraid of change. They're afraid to commit. And you're looking for more than just a fling. You're not trying to be a part of a third party situation or love triangle. No, 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 no. Absolutely the fuck not. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. No, no, no. Hell no. Nah. To the no, 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 hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, 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 hell, hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. Okay, look at this person. It's like they can't, y'all. They can't. They need major help. They may need to see a psychiatrist or a therapist or something. They need some professional help. Like, they feel like they cannot do this on their own. They cannot. Like, they would rather be with you, but then it's like, well, I'm in this situation, so I might as well stay in it. I can't escape. I can't get out. I'm trying to fight my demons, but for real, or actuality, I'm afraid of this change. I'm afraid of losing the ways that I've created for myself. I'm afraid to come out my comfort zone. Thank you, spirit, for that information, clarification, confirmation, whatever you want to call it. They're afraid to come out of their comfort zone, but they know you're an earth angel. And it's like they miss their earth angel, but they don't want to mess up the relationship again because they know they're capable of not giving you what you need right now. Hmm. Y'all, that's going to be y'all reading. Y'all, I did my own nails. I did my own nails, okay? I don't go to the nail salon to do my nails. I don't go to the nail salon to get my nails done. I do my own nails, okay? And I do a pretty damn good job. I just wanted y'all to check the nails, check the nails. And it looked like I'm going to a fucking wedding. 
I mean, look at the nails. Look at the ice on it. Like, damn. Like, oh, I'm feeling these nails. I'm loving them. Okay? I am loving it. Let me know how you guys feel about my nails. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, it's cute. Yes, it's cute. Yes. And let me know what you guys think about this reading. Y'all, if y'all resonate with this, give me a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you leave me a comment, I promise you I'm going to reply back to you. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning right now. So if I don't respond, I will respond to you as soon as I wake up in the morning. I put that on God. I will respond to you. Nobody gets left on red on this channel. The only one that get left on red is the ones that have something negative to say. It's low vibrational. I will block you. You can still watch the reads, but you won't be able to comment. You won't be able to leave a comment or anything. So if you don't have nothing nice to say on this high vibrational channel, because we're going through our high vibrational journey, our spiritual journey. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Keep your opinions to yourself. You know, and I feel like your person was supposed to tell these people that put this in the ear. Like, keep your opinions to yourself. I don't want to hear this shit. You're not going to sit around here and talk about my person, but they allow this to happen. So they can't blame anybody but themselves, okay? This is their victim mentality. They play the victim, blame other people for their fuck-ups because they don't want to take accountability. They too chicken shit to take accountability here. They're afraid of this change, and they need to work on themselves. That's why they're going through this dark night of the soul here, okay? Because they know they have to do this in order to grow, evolve, and ascend. But it's like they're fighting against it because they want to stick to what they know. They want to stay in this old ass energy. Basically, they tried to surrender, but it's like their demons is, is, is taking control over them. And it's hard to fight off the demons if you feel like you have no control over them. It's hard for this person. That's why I said they need some professional help. They need a therapist, a counselor, somebody, a spiritual advisor, somebody to help them. To help them grow, to help them flow, to help them become more um, aware of their intuition and their self-worth. So I feel like you're standing in your power. You have a lot of courage. You, you're finding the strength to hold back from this person because you know they're not good for you. They're toxic. And you're teaching them a lesson, for real. And they're learning this lesson. They want to learn their lesson the hard way, Spirit is saying. That's what I just heard. They need to learn this the hard way. They want it to be one way, but it's the other way. Okay? Y'all, leave me a comment. Subscribe to our channel. I would love to have you. Part of the Queen of Wands 1111 family. I will see you guys in the next reading. I love you all. I'm sending you love and light. Mwah. Namaste. Bye, Taurus. I'll see y'all in the next reading. <laughs>